Good morning, Avion Awesome subscribers. Welcome to yet another riveting episode here on the channel. It's a cold one. I've actually got my down jacket on. It is like 35 degrees in Florida. It's so cold, in fact, that I not only have my electric heater on down there, but I also have my propane heater on. That's crazy. A propane heater on in Florida. So while I did happen to rip out my propane furnace in this particular camper because I mean it was really really heavy most of the time those propane furnaces that they put in campers they're not very efficient either. Having a backup heater to say an electric or to your propane system that's the reason I have both you should always have both so even though I have power here I, it's not like I can plug in another heater. The amperage draw, the wattage, would be just way too high. It would it would kick the breaker. There's there's no way I'd be able to do it. Also, because I knew that I was going to be in relatively good weather, almost no matter you know no matter where I went, I was only going to need to have this set up only once in in a while. So that's the reason I got it. On occasion, you're going to find yourself in a few situations where the temperature is going to drop pretty low, like today. Even in Florida, even in Florida, it can get cold from time to time cold front will just swoop in and whisk all that warm air right away from you. So having a backup system, both electric and propane, is always a good idea. But I got the Portable Buddy mainly just for this exact reason. There are going to be those mornings where, you know, you're going to get a bit of a cold snap and it's not going to be very comfortable once you're up and out of that warm toasty bed. So having the propane is not only a great idea, but it's also a fantastic backup just in case you're out boondocking and you don't have access to electric but it's also a wonderful add-on to your electric system when it's cold enough that you can run one and the other one at the exact same time so that you can remain somewhat comfortable even in a larger RV while these by themselves are fantastic say for like hashtag van life even in a relatively nice size camper you can now have both systems and keep you a little high and warm all right so one quick note about uh, these propane heaters some people are like really really afraid of propane or gas in general this thing has uh, an oxygen sensor built into it so if it detects that the oxygen is going to be you know if it feels like it's getting a little bit low it automatically shuts itself off it's honestly it's it's kind of dummy proof. Also, if you want to know roughly how much propane you have left, can you see this down here? A lot of times the propane bottles will start getting frosty right at the line where they have propane at. So you can kind of tell right now that this bottle in particular is getting a little bit low finally. And I probably uh, knocked off the chill in this place maybe, I don't know, a total of five or so times and maybe left it on for roughly an hour each. And that's roughly what each of these bottles that's about how long they're going to last you they're going to last about five to six hours depending on how hard you hit it how long you leave it on how cold it is that whole kind of thing but if you just look at the uh, at the frost line on your bottle you get a general idea of just about how much propane you have left i think in this bottle i've maybe got another 30 45 minutes left or so but by that time the sun's already up and Things are going to start warming up in here anyway, so I'm not all that worried about it. And honestly, I'll be glad to get rid of one of these propane bottles. I've had these things for so daggone long. But yeah, if you have kind of an un uh, like, like an unrational fear of just you know gas in general, seriously, don't worry about it. Always be cautious. Always do your due diligence. Learn as much as you can about the systems that you're going to use you know in your camper i mean you want to stay alive you don't want to just be all willy-nilly with stuff but at the same time don't have an irrational fear of the things that are designed in order to keep you alive and like i said this thing weighs almost nothing comparatively to the full-sized propane uh, furnace that i ended up ripping out of this particular camper so if you only use it when you need it and because it's relatively lightweight, it's really, it's going to be the best option, in my personal opinion, uh, for people that just need, on occasion, temporary heating solutions. You know, if you're looking at one of these as like a whole house replacement, as a whole RV replacement, you're going to be severely disappointed. These are radiant heaters. So what you do is you just kind of put it close in your vicinity, 
Uh, you do have to give your heater a little bit of space around the unit. It has to be able to breathe because anything directly in front is going to get pretty hot. So you don't want to put it close to anything flammable. You don't want to put it close to anything that's actually going to potentially catch fire. Uh, and also, you have to watch out for the grate. The grate that's in front gets extremely, extremely hot. Use common sense, people. Use your brain. It's a flame. It's a heat source. Don't touch it. So the long and short of it is, is that even though I am in Florida of all places in, you know, it's not even December yet, and they did get a bit of a cold snap here. So it is always good to have backup systems. It's always good to have something for those contingencies, for those times that, you know, you're not really for sure what the weather's going to be like. That's the reason I have both electric and gas systems, because there's going to be times when, you know, you might have to be boondocking at a Walmart parking lot. There ain't no hookups there. So you have to depend on, especially with your heating sources, you're going to have to depend on like a propane grill, a propane stove, uh, a propane heater. And then, of course, when you are finally hooked back up, you know, either uh, if you're mooch docking in someone's driveway or if you're back at a campground or something, use all the electric that you possibly can. But I have electric and my a little electric uh, space heater just isn't enough to knock off the chill in here this morning. So I'm using both. All right, guys, so I hope that helped out someone. Uh, you know, whether you are in a van or a big RV, it's always good to have backups to the backups, especially when they are those systems that you are going to depend on to not only keep yourself alive, but to make your life just a little bit more comfortable. At any rate, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys again on the next one. Peace.